Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kerryoth, and today we are going to take a look at Book of Demons, which is currently in early access on Steam. Book of Demons is a deck building hack and slash adventure game where players can decide the length of quests. The game is in the first instalment of Return to Games, a series of original mid-core titles inspired by the early golden days of PC gaming. This looks really, really interesting. I'm actually really excited to try this because it's like a... 2D sort of paper animation thing. Oh, I'll shut up. Hang on. Truly grim story in our collection, not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home. Solid animations here. Find everything different than remembered. It looks dead good. What? A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell, devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. <laughs> it's so cheeky, I love it. Oh, the ultimate evil has awoken. Adventure. Darkness. This is a quality intro. All of these are way below. I'm just, I'm already I'm already loving it. Absolutely already loving this. This is quality. So as you can probably tell, it's uh it's it's like a love letter to Diablo. Um and it's very much sort of parody and it's got this funky sort of paper animation style Ooh, okay so we've got yeah we've got three slots we let's create a character yes this is as it says early access stern development main probably will experience bugs unfinished features or maybe even game crash working hard to address this thank you uh character name carry off obviously Oh, we're not doing a day level character then. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, let's go for it. This has been development for about three years, uh, but now that they're at the stage they're at, they put it in early access so that they could get feedback and talk to people and just so see what people thought, really. All this time. Get some it assistance. Like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Yeah, you and me both. But then, it was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. Okay. Good grief. This is already... There's already wet, just a lot in this. Already. Really oh no, sorry, we've already done that. Yeah, so we've got the welcome and we've got a magical cord which we can't click and a golden key which we can't click either. We haven't unlocked these guys yet, that's fine. Oh, there he is. I'm assuming that's the sage. Your arrival brings hope to my old heart. <laughs> the voice. No yes. <laughs> oh lord. I should know. <laughs> but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. Okay. I've plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the dis. Okay, cheers, mate. <laughs> this is already quality. Okay, we don't have enough currency to do anything. That's fine. Now I'm getting. See, for this, I'm getting a bit of a uh, bit of a darkest dungeon vibe in a way. Um. Just the, the sort of town layout. Best one, the cook. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, the anti-pipe. See, it's very, it's very tongue-in-cheek. It's, it's like, it's references, but parody references, which I really like. Now, it's got, one of the things I'm interested in with here is it has this system of like timed quests. So like as it says on the ste the Steam page, decide the length of the quest. Have only five minutes for a game, no problem. Book of Demons later to set the length of each quest. It learns your way of playing and gives you the best experience making Book of Demons the first really accessible hack and slash. Now I really like the idea of that. Dungeon generated okay. 
I am the sword that splits darkness. <laughs> I'm loving the way this guy moves. Oh. Okay, click anywhere to move, click behind or on your character to stop. Your character will stop at intersections. So at the moment, I'm, I'm being directed forward. Fair enough. You can interact with objects in your light radius. Okay, so if I go over here, can I... I can interact with that and that. Okay, okay, cool. And then it looks like you mouse over to pick it up. All right. Nice. Oh, there we go. I've killed him. Click to choose the target of your character. Auto attacks. Auto attacks. Slow each hit damage is one heart. Click or click and hold on target to attack faster. When engaged, one click and hold to retreat. Okay. So it looks like at the moment your your attacks are based on where the cursor is opposed to where the character is. Icons on the top represent points of interest on this level. This icon is revealed when you're getting near. Okay. Yes, I will open that. Ooh. And there's a card. Okay. Uh, right. Mighty blow deals massive damage to the target. Okay, we'll resume and equip. View your cards by pressing I. Rearrange cards in your card pane and slots by clicking and dragging them. Only equip when they're active. Not more to visit the sage. Okay. And there's new gossip in town. I like that, actually. I like the fact that it tells you there's new gossip in town. Hard points of your life. If you lose them all, you will die. Your hard points don't also regenerate. Use fountains and cars to recover health. You can also go back to town and be healed by the healer for free. Thanks very much. Well, we're too good to be hit by anyone, so... Uh... Oh, God. So, at the moment, I'm not 100% sure about the... Uh... Hitting people from that far away, at least whilst I've got a melee weapon equipped. Anyway, but you something to level up, or must lose one heart. Every level, every level gives you one point, which can be added to your hearts so or boost your mana. Okay. I think there's another card over there. Oh, there's the mana. Okay. Dying doesn't destroy level up points in the caution. Right. Cool. Okay, so we will... Let's increase health by one. So now we've got that in the caution. I that the sanctity of this place has been... <laughs> I like the, uh, I like the... Graffiti on the wall there, very nice. Okay, level clear. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do the next bit. Zombies. Okay. Zombies that have poison hearts. On death, they explode with a shot with a poison on them. Oh, they can't be poisoned. It heals them. Right. Oh, oh, God. Get over there out of the way of that. All right. Okay, I see. I get it. I'm there. There. Uh, oh, there we go. Let's have one of them. There we go. That'll do. So I mean, there, there are obviously there are obviously things in this that will be immediately very, very similar um, to other titles that you will know of, obviously, which is the whole point. I do like the style of this though. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. I like that as well. Telling you when you've been somewhere. That's nice. It's a nice touch. Yeah, we'll have a health potion. That's uh, probably going to be handy. When I inevitably mess up and get wrecked. Conrad the Chop Chop. <laughs> oh, hello. Each one has multiple lives. The more lives the boss has, the more rewards he drops in slain. All his lives are thrown on the boss bar. Before each life, the boss is immune. He's preparing to be stopped. 
then we run back it. Okay. Oh. Nice. We got him. Okay. Oh, level up. There we go. Got everything. Including his gold. Well, his cup. Yeah, at the moment, the only thing I'm not sure about is the way the uh, it works with the cursor attacking targets from, like, miles away. But... That's probably just me being very picky, to be honest. Other than that, I mean, I, I can't really see anything to complain about here. It, it looks nice. It sounds good. It's all around pretty damn enjoyable. Let's go back to town. Okay. I've been yes. Busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft, and I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing, and it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find. Okay. Um. Okay. So magical cauldron. Magic and cauldron crystal to find the ingredient in the dungeon. Yep, that's fine. So we can collect, we can collect five hundred dollars. No, we're not collecting five hundred dollars. We're giving her five hundred dollars. Sorry for a prize. Mm, each time you collect the price, the price of cauldron increases. When the hero dies, unbought prizes are lost. Um, no, let's leave it for a bit. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to it. Uh, Greetings, traveler. People just still out of thing. Fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself. Magical cards are my specialty. Ah, uh, there we go. They represent a novel approach to magic, offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spell casting. Unfortunately, new things <laughs> have been found upon. <laughs> Plaxmith went so bankrupt. Nice. Quaint places like this town. Okay. So we can charge cards. We can upgrade card, fuse runes, sell runes. So let's let's charge that. There we go. Okay. Nice. Nice. So that's no, that's not all you had for me then, is it? Okay. We'll go back to her quickly. Uh, I think it would like me to. We've already had both of those bits of gossip. Let's let's collect the prize. Let's do that. Okay, next children costs five hundred. Okay, cool, nice. So I think we probably need to uh, chart, pick a card. I've already done that, haven't I? Okay, we've maxed it out. Nice. And finally, we'll talk to this guy again. Souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is the realm where the dead rest. Countless warriors, men of the cloth, mages and kings, etc., etc. Quick advice from holy powers. Men of the cloth, mages, and even. Okay, and then that shows you about uh, what stuff you've killed. The bestiary or beastry, however you want to pronounce it. I'm assuming it's probably bestiary, isn't it? Let's go back. Oh, hang on, we've got a level. Let's have some more mana. Let's go for some more mana, shall we? And now the cauldron's gone up. Okay, cool. Go down. Yes, go deeper. <laughs> I'm ignorant. Oh dear. That's, that's, that's a bit harsh. Okay. You didn't die. You killed every last one of them. Nice! Yeah, we don't need to go back to town, do we? Okay, let's let's go, let's go in. Set up new game, Flexiscope. Ah. Okay, with Flexiscope, you can choose the size of a game session you will play. Depending on your preferences, you can dive into your you could divide your adventure, sorry, into smaller or bigger games, regardless of how much time you have. Flexiscope makes sure the rewards and threats in a single game are fair, and that the gameplay experience can be completed in the predicted time. Flexiscope learns your gameplay style, so time estimates for each subsequent session size should be more and more accurate. That is... That's cool, I like that. Alright, it says seven minutes. 
Uh, let's let's do small. Let's do twelve minutes. And then I ah, see. So yeah, it goes it goes up as you as you go up in uh in diff not in difficulty in time. It goes up in rewards and progress. Well, let's do it. Let's do a small twelve minutes. That'd be fine. And in fact, I can even see those twelve minutes are not down there. Loads really quick. This is well, I like that. I'm a big fan of anything that loads quick. <laughs> Go. Kill that guy. Oh, cheeky git. Okay, he didn't bring a friend. It's fine. Have that and that. Ugh. Oh, the sharpshooting Joe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Damage the shield by clicking the shield icon. Okay, there we go, that's fine. Now we know how to do with that, all good. Uh. Oh, that guy's going to get wrecked, hopefully. I mean, that guy did. Hey, Joe. Hey. Oh, oh, he's got immune. There we go. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I can sort of just hang back here, which is nice. And get him again. Okay. And he's done his, his thingy again, which is fine. That's all good. Oh, you missed me. Ah, get out of it. He's got quite a few lads around him, though. Okay, let's get that guy. And then... We should... We might be able to kill him. No. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, level up again. I'll take that. What the? Gargoyles of stone hearts. They immune to elemental effects. Poison, fire, and ice. So, so the statues, they heal over time. Disgusting. Doesn't matter though. We killed him. Yep, that's fine. We already knew that, I think. Mostly. Okay, like two minutes into the dungeon, I'm, I'm keeping tabs. <laughs> oh, that's not really fair. It does say that it will improve at it as it goes on. Um, so you can't really hold it against it if it's not 100% the first time. Cheeky git. There we go, that's, that's alright. Keep forgetting that I need to click the thing. Okay, what have we got here? Ooh, body armor. Artifact. Oh, nice. Okay. So that... I think that is now taking up some mana, so that if I lose hearts, the, the armor will just put it back automatically. Okay, that's that deaded. Okay, let's open that as well. Making some, some proper cash off this quality. I've got, I've, I really do like the art style of this. It's just a, it's just a really nice looking game. Go. Didn't actually mean to open that, but it's fine. There's another zombie over there, I think. Go. This is one of those really nice surprise games where it's like you're not sure what to expect, but it, it when you play it, it's like you can re-enter the level by clicking on from the back by clicking on the right side of the level. You can always go back to town from the crosscut screen between levels. Yes, there we go. So back to town. Well, we will continue on. Yeah, it's. I, I really like it when you when you do that thing. If you, you try a game that you don't know a huge amount, and it like it, it ends up turning out being something kind of like it's kind of special because that's that's sort of what this feels like. It you can tell that a lot of time, a lot of time and thought and care has gone into this. I, have enough mana. Ah, I need mana now. 
So I don't have my uh, my special ability because I've got that armor. Hmm. Not sure I want that armor then. To be honest, I quite like to have the uh, the mana. That looks ominous. That was a bit harsh. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that, that's not on, is it? Right. I'll kill this guy and then I'll. Ah, there we go. So we've got a level up, so that's fine. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's have some more mana, and we'll we'll stick with health how it is, because I feel like more mana is 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 a, a sensible investment right now. Oh nope, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, we got more health. Oh, this is it's not going bad, is it? Okay, so that's that's the way down, but we haven't cleared this yet. We want to keep going. There we go. Oh, oh, you cheeky. Quick, get him. Christ. I'm glad there's health around here. I thought that was going to spawn something nasty then. Okay. Weirdly, I, this is going to sound very strange, but I can't want to play Darkest Dungeon now as well. I'm really enjoying this. I genuinely, I think this is a. It's just so well thought out. All of this. It's it's. And now that I've got used to the you know the the, the clicking further afield and all of that, it's really. It's really pretty good. It's one of those games where I feel like. There's a, an attention to detail there that that you kind of that should be appreciated. Get out of it, all of you. Get 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 out. It can make those gargoyles are getting on my nerves now. <laughs> it can be a bit hard to hit those. Okay, plenty of plenty of gold though. Oh, get out of it. Although now I need more mana again. I love that. Okay, so that guy's coming over. There we go. Nice. I wonder if there's anything in the uh, in the tomb over here. Yeah. This isn't like a. It's worth pointing out as well. With this being in early access, uh, the way it is, this is this is hardly like a review. This is just I'm just looking at it for the first time. I will say though that if you're one of those people who likes to get in on uh, on oh they are immune to kill all the guards. Okay, so we're always going to be guarded by monsters. All right. Oh, that's a lot of them. Okay, we need mana. Unfortunately, you know what? I know I've triggered that, but if I go up here, I can get that. No, where was he? No, he had it, didn't he? He had the artifact that I wanted to, that I was aiming for to begin with. I was trying to be cheeky there. For some reason, I thought there was something where there wasn't. Oh, hang on. Try to get rid of that guy. Oh, I like that. I'm not clever. Yeah, yeah. I know that was silly of me. Ah, there we go. Healed, nice. Oh, a mystery card. The sage can identify it. All right, sounds good. Okay. I think I missed a heart there. That's frustrating. Not my own fault. Oh, plus one to mana. Okay, let's let's have a. Oh. There we go. That's something. Get him. Get him! <laughs> Run away! Oh! Uh, there we go. Uh, oh god damn! This was a bad idea. This is bad. Okay, that's so. That's interesting. That's cool. That's painful. Ow! No. I was hoping to poison that little git over there. Uh. 
No, 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 just quick, quick, go, go. Uh, get, get, get out of it. Get out of it, you jerk. Oh, no, oh, oh, chip away, chip away, chip away, chip away. And a couple more. There we go. Now he's going to do his, his power. That looks painful. Oh, that blocks you. That blocks you from moving. Okay. Don't let me hit you. Don't let me hit you. Don't let me hit you. Take this. Hey, there we go. Okay, so that guy could drop stuff down and prevent you from moving about. Right. God. Nice. I can see this having a lot of potential for crazy fights later on. It's kind of... I, I feel like... I don't think it's unfair to say that it's... That it seems fairly simple in some respects. But... I feel like... Simple isn't isn't the right word. I, I don't think simple is the right is the right way to put it. I think there's a sort of simplicity to it. But I think that later on kind of what look like simple mechanics now are, are gonna be like increasingly tricky to master. And I really like that. Okay, so that was in fact thirteen no. That was 11 minutes, just about. So when it said 12 minute mission, it was not wrong. You know what, I'm, I'm genuinely... Let's, hang on, let's gamble with the cauldron quickly. Let's collect the prizes. Oh, car. We got some... We got something nice there. What do we get for that? We got a card. A sun rune. Nice. Okay. You know what, guys? I'm going to leave it there. That is Book of Demons. It is in early access right now. It's been in development for quite a while. They've they've opened it up to early access. They want to get feedback. They want to get people playing. They want to get suggestions. I'm actually... I'm really liking this. I think the art style is fantastic. It's very... It's, it's very unique. The music is really good. The voice acting is decent. It feels like a very rounded, polished title already, and although it feels relatively simple at the moment, I can easily see this becoming increasingly complex as you go on. And I really like the fact that we just said we wanted to do a 12-minute mission, and we got a 12-minute mission. That is... that's... that's pretty damn good. And that gives a lot of scope for accessibility, and I'm all for people with limited time being able to just play for as long as they can without having to worry about disappearing mid-quest or thinking they're not going to make it out of a certain dungeon in time. I like that. It's, it it adds a really nice, thoughtful element to the game. So, yeah, it's in early access. There's a link in the description. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just really like this. It's just... It just seems pretty damn good, frankly. And, uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, check it out. There's also a free demo, so you might as well. Why not, right? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.